Now, I have a, a proposition to put to you, and that is a point of view or the position of a certain school, one might say, the traditional school which is growing in numbers and adherence, a point of view, and indeed it is more than a point of view because it involves a personal commitment, it involves a certain quality of life indeed, it is not just something in the abstract, but it is something that to be understood must be, it must be lived. It is a position which has been called the Philosophia Perennis, the perennial philosophy. It is a point of view, a position that was spoken to back in the early 40s by Aldous Huxley. In fact, you remember his little book, Perennial Philosophy, which was an anthology of all, of many of the great spiritual texts out of the different traditions of mankind. And these texts spoke to each of the traditions out of which they came at the very most lofty point. Uh, it's, it's illustrated what seems clearly to be the possibility of an ultimate transcendent, you might say, unity, uh, a principle in which all, or towards which all the religious traditions, legitimate religious traditions, <coughs> proceed from and ultimately lead back to. It could be thought of as, as a pyramid or as a mountain, which I like better. And that is that the top of the mountain represents a point of unity, a point of transcendent unity, a point to which all the great religious traditions of the world, it seems to me, converge upon uh, through their means and methods and so forth. If we could use that simile of the, of the mountain, one could say that at the bottom of this, this mountain, there seems to be separation, there seems to be differentiation. There seems to the person who is at the bottom of the mountain that the trail which he has in front of him is the one that leads up to the summit. But as that individual climbs the mountain towards the summit, it seems to be an inevitable possibility that as he moves beyond the tree line, as he gets out into the open, he begins to see that indeed his is not the only way to the top of this mountain, but there are other trails, there are other paths that started at different points at the base of the mountain, but which nevertheless lead to the same ultimate uh, summit. So it is that one might say that so long as one is discussing religions or participating indeed in religions uh, at the level of the, the bottom of our mountain, which you might say on a more exoteric or a more literal kind of a level, that it is inevitable that there will be problems, that there will be strife, that there will be even warfare across representatives of the different traditions of the world. So the hope is that if one can point to the possibility of, of arriving at the summit to of understanding this principle of, a ultimate, of ultimate transcendent unity, then it might be that there will be less strife across religious traditions uh, within the world, then it might be that we might come to a common understanding of a common goal. Humankind. This, at least, is the is the is the hope. That is a perspective that is not a popular one, because it implies that at the base of our pyramid here, or it implies that there is a separation here between what you might call exoteric 
and assertive. And that seems to, to suggest perhaps some sort of elitism that is here. But it is nothing of this sort because we are talking of metaphysical possibilities, metaphysical realities. We are, <clears throat> we are bound to understand, we should understand, that it is only normal and natural that in, in any given society there are individuals of different capabilities. There are those who are not prepared to climb high mountains and there are also those who are well prepared to climb high mountains and who have appropriate guides to help them to the summit and so forth. Anyway, this, this is a, an image that I present to you in the hopes that if we can keep it in mind during our discussions, it may be that we will have access to a point of common understanding, to, uh, to a, a goal to which uh, we might aspire, that is, to try to understand the particular religious tradition that we are speaking of at its deepest or at its ultimate possible level. And at that level, I think, <coughs> we will have much more agreement than we will differences and argumentation.